Purification is necessary for the practical, the practical reason of, of true perception. Because if you don't, if you don't become purified and you don't, and you don't purify in your heart, your perception will be off. That's the reason why you can take one scripture and the scripture said, don't touch it. And somebody else over here said, well, it didn't mean touch it all the time. It mean touch it when you in the position that you can't touch it. And then when you get over here, somebody, else, well, that ain't what that mean either. It mean that if you put in a situation where you got to touch it, he ain't going to make you feel bad because you got to touch it. Okay, let me back it all the way up here and I'll show you a real example. Right here, he says, don't touch nobody and don't, and don't, and don't lay with nobody that's not your husband. Over here, it, what that mean, do that mean when you, because me and Junior live together for 12 years and we got two kids and how do I just walk out like that? So for me, God know I'm trying to process out of it. But in the spirit realm, because marriage really ain't just a piece of paper, we really is already made one. Here goes somebody over here. We had said we was going to get married six months before we got saved. So why separate now when we already together? See, three different perceptions because there's three different levels of purification. Until you come all the way over here and find somebody that says, okay, that thing hit my heart. If God said, come out, I got to go. Junior, I'll see you in six months at the altar. So make sure that when you hear the word, that you're perceiving it right. You're perceiving it to the end of its order and not the process. Because we always want to take the word through our process. If God said put it down, spirit put it down. He don't mean be putting it down. Okay. Listen, let me, let me help you to understand how I know people haven't really, really, really met the real word and they're meeting messages of the temple, but not the word, Catherine, because the Bible said that here, 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 Paul, he had not met Jesus. He had not known the voice of Christ. He's on the road to Damascus, a mass murderer, killing everybody he saw that proclaimed to be a Christian. He had an encounter with the spirit of the Lord that knocked him off of his donkey, spoke to him out of the spirit realm, spoke in his spirit, changed his mind. When he got up, his testimony was, well, today I only killed 20 people. I used to kill 2,000 and I killed 30 yesterday. And guess what? I'm only down to two. He never killed again. Because when you meet the word for real and your spirit comprehends who he is, you will never do it again. I don't hear y'all preaching back to me. Because I didn't grow up with that kind of gospel. I grew up with people that was purged out. My pastor and them were on the altar. And when they said, put it down, we put it down. This generation is being raised up by people that are not willing to purify. So they're giving you the process message. I'm, I'm, I'm preaching right now. And Mother Jane, Mother Carol and them used to come down at that table and put that, put that, that lace cloth on that offering table and open up their Bible with patent leather shoes on. How many of y'all remember that? And they teach two or three skippers at Hosha. They preach for an hour. Come on, somebody. And when you left church, your spirit didn't want to sin. There was something that came out of that word that your spirit grabbed that word. Who am I preaching to tonight? Back then it wasn't no, put that down. You know better than that. No, conviction.
conviction came up in your spirit because you were being to preach the gospel from the right realm, from the right level, in the right spirit. Now, the Bible was being rightly until it was made manifest into truth. That's why we can't hold on. That's why we're a weak generation. That's why we backslide every other Sunday. I'm not hearing that. Because somebody is tickling your intellect. But it's time for leadership to purify so you can have an anointing on your life that when you preach it, they'll never do it again. They'll come out and won't look back. Okay. Y'all sit down because I said I wasn't going to. Jesus. Somebody says that, that woman talking about the word. 